Hi again. So, <clears throat> just in case the first one is too long to make both in one video, I'm just gonna show you the colors and layer them. Oh, making a mess. So the first color down was quinacridone nicolaso gold. The second one was gold, and that's golden fluid. <clears throat> the second one is also golden fluid, and it is um, iridescent gold bright. I can see I have an air bubble that doesn't want to pop. I'm gonna help it along the way. <clears throat> and uh, what am I going to do? Yeah, Amsterdam pearl white with a little tiny bit of golden fluid titanium white. I like to use a golden, no, a pearl white in between so the piece doesn't get too dark and heavy and this is a color eye pigment i love this one tanzanite and it has some uh, has a little bit of purple in it so it gives a little bit of interest so now I'm going, the previous one I made with the um, Pevio Green Blue and for this one I'm switching that one with Pevio Blue Green. I want to see the difference, I want to see how much green I get from the blues and the quinacridone compared to uh, how much green I get from the green blue. Just for fun. Just had to thin that one out a bit. It really thickens up quickly here during summertime. So I have to add some of my mixture which is the Vallejo mix 3 to 1 with distilled water in Denmark it's actually called demineraliseret vand demineralized water or how you say it in English titanium white CA and the first one was Prussian blue mixed with a little bit of oxide black. Gonna make some noise. Even wait and hesitate breathing. Why would you wanna stay? Nothing you say can change the way he feels. Nothing could save you now. So just a little.
the side of the street, you're on your feet. So take a step and calmly walk away. <clears throat> so let's see how this one sells up in the in the center. I'm gonna give it a puff. There's some uh, cool shades in that big cell there. I'm gonna layer the other bloom and then we can see how much of this that has sealed up. Whether I need to help it along a little bit more. <clears throat> so what do we think guys? <laughs> I try to minimize that area. I'm not good at blowing yet to make um, the center look nice. Hmm. I'm gonna let the center collect a little bit. And um, I'll be right back. So I was just thinking, oh, I might as well just puff this part one last time. And then I used the straw and I drooled in it. <laughs> I'm not sure it's gonna look very nice. I don't know if I'm gonna ruin this, but hey, it's deconstructed, right? I've seen Karen from Waterfall Acrylics dip her finger, so I'm gonna try that as well and hope I get the drooling out. Oh, that looks weird, don't it? Hmm, hopefully. 
hope I didn't ruin it. Time will tell, right? Checking for movement. The census has collected so I'm just gonna add some floor extender just a little bit so the paint doesn't roll over itself why even try to justify leaving why not just run away why even wait Hesitate breathing, why would you wanna stay? Nothing you say can change the way he feels, nothing could save you now. So just a little. Still you blow by oblivious to the height Check out behind and you will find nothing's holding you to the ground He just let you go Shut down with no I do hope I'm in frame. I feel like this tilt is going better than the other one. But we'll see when I'm done, right? Now I'm just going to let the weight of the paint uh, do its work over here in this corner and then I'm going to tilt it back. Let's see how much paint I have left on here. There's still a lot of movement, I feel like, so need to have some more paint off. Why even try to justify leaving? Why not just run away? Why even wait and hesitate breathing? Why would you want to stay? Nothing you say can change the way he feels Nothing could save you now So just a little Take a 
let me bring you guys in for a close-up. Really don't know what's going on with all those uh, freckles everywhere. <clears throat> They're kind of big, right? There's a big one right there. It almost looks like there's satin enamel in here, but there's not. So, this center looks kind of weird right there, but it's such a small area for the entire piece. So, I'm pretty happy about it. I, I know myself well enough to know that I'm going to love it in a few days. <laughs> Once I've looked at it. A few times it's gonna grow on me look at this kind of cool it's almost like the Prussian blue CA is underneath the quinequidone nickel laser gold looks kind of cool actually I like the hard lines <clears throat> in between they're not everywhere and they're not too thick so they don't take over I felt like I had to, you know, make them not stop so abruptly. How do you say it in English? In Danish it's easy, it's just bad. So, what do you think, guys? For sure, it's a big difference with this Pepio compared to the green, blue. And of course, there should be a difference, but... I think it's a huge difference. Um, yeah, overall I'm happy with this. So here's the dried result of both pieces. Let me take the first one first. So a lot of interest. I love the cells and the white CA. Um, I managed to preserve a little bit of the lines that gives the flow. What do you think, guys? So this one is the one with the green-blue. This one is the blue-green PPO. Also a lot of selling and I love the, the CA is kind of, somewhere it's kind of sneaking into the back of the paint. And I believe that has something to do with the with the pearl white that's a bit translucent and the quinacridone glaze of gold is also helping along so and that was the blue green can you tell the difference between the colors from these two pieces when i made them i felt like there was a big difference but <laughs> no that's actually not Thank you guys for watching and please if you like this video give it a thumb up and feel free to leave me a comment i would be mostly appreciative and yeah stay safe till next time